I guess like the initial thing that happened was maybe about a month after finishing Silence in the Snow, like well before it came out, I just sort of felt like I wasn't done writing. I, I don't know, it's like normally after you do a record, you're kind of like, just kind of beat. You don't want to think about anything. I just kind of was the opposite. I was like, I kind of felt very inspired and I felt like I wanted to do something more. And so I just started writing. Um, I can't even remember the exact first riff, but at some point, I think the sin of the sentence, like part of that kind of came out of that initial writing session. And from there, it was just like, just kept going, just kept writing. And by like the time we went back out on tour, I probably had like three or four demos already done, like just on my own and like showed Matt and Corey and kind of got those guys into the same mindset. We all just started writing and from there, it was just in between every tour, we would write, we would talk about what we had. It was really all over the place at first, but then once we started to really hone in on the vision and we were deciding like, all right, we're gonna make this like intense record. We're gonna keep all the melody we had from the last record, but we're gonna like step it up in terms of riffs, drumming, uh, vocal intensity. It, then it became easier and we, we cast aside the stuff we weren't really feeling and we just made this. I find that we do better with more big picture goals than something very specific. Because uh, like the best time I could think that we did something like making a very specific minded goal was after a sentence, and a sentence did so well, we looked at ourselves and we looked at what everyone else was doing. We noticed that all other bands were playing something semi-similar. Everyone had screaming and singing, there were breakdowns and solos, and we said, we want to do the opposite of what everyone else is doing and what we just did. So let's see what is the opposite of what we just did. And the end result is the crusade. And we tried all these different genres and songs, purposefully trying to fit into these different things in our mind. And while we're incredibly proud of the record, it showed us later on in the future when we were leading up to the writing of The Sin and the Sentence, our favorite records of Trivium and the moments we feel like we've nailed are the ones where we made exactly what we wanted to hear as a band and not try to fit into something either genre-wise or try to appease someone. And we definitely notice as well that we do the best when we keep the music amongst ourselves until it's almost completed. Like not bringing in the producer, not bringing in any outside ears or opinions and just making this music with the four of us in the jam room. And that's something that we did so much on In Waves and Ascendancy and Shogun. And the other ones, like the Vengeance Falls and Silence of the Snow, was agreed upon beforehand that us and the producer were like, all right, let's be malleable. Let's, let's not finish these songs till we're together in the studio, where we like to come in overly prepared before even setting foot in the studio. He actually mixed the last record. He mixed Silence in the Snow, and it wasn't even the initial plan for him to mix the record, so it was just kind of by chance. We, I think maybe two weeks before we had to get the, mic the record mixed, caught him up, he was available. I flew out, I spent four days there with him kind of setting up the mic, kind of talking about what we wanted. And he just had a really awesome vibe about him. Um, I mean, I knew his records that he had produced, like Lamb of God, Gojira. I knew mic like records he was mixing or had mixed, like the new Megadeth record, uh, he mixed the new Korn. So, like I kind of knew a lot about him musically and what he's done, but to see the guy behind all of that and see his vibe, which was this super knowledgeable guy, this guy that's really excited about music, super, uh, super normal, I guess, like all of us, like, you know, we play this music that's really aggressive, but I think we're very normal, happy people to be around. And I just felt like, Coming after Silence in the Snow, I felt like we needed a guy that was like-minded like us, that had a similar uh, vibe, similar personality, that could bond with each of us in different ways. Like, you know, Josh and Corey are both from the same state, Maine. They're both into like, these kind of like New Englander things that only like, those dudes would know about. And then it's the same thing with all of us. We just bonded in different ways. I played basketball with him like every day during pre-production. And we just had a really fun time and I think bringing him into the, the situation just took this record to another level because, you know, Matt has said before, like, when we are content, when we're happy, uh, we can make some of the angriest, uh, nastiest music that Trivium can make. For some reason, it seems to work that way. <laughs> <laughs>